432. Module number 3, Title Variation. Variation is a measure of change in data or variable. Four types of variation, direct variation, inverse variation, combined variation, joint variation. Lesson 2.1, direct variation. Direct variation. For two quantities, x and y, an increase in x causes an increase in y as well. Similarly, a decrease in x causes a decrease in y. So, in a direct variation, we are comparing two quantities. So, meron tayong x, meron tayong y. Kapag daw, tumaas si x, tataas din si y. At kapag naman daw bumaba si x, bababa din si y. Kaso, dapat ang kanyang pagtaas o kaya ang kanyang pagbaba ay constant. Direct variation. Whenever the situation produces pairs of numbers, in which the ratio is constant. The statements y varies directly as x. So, varies directly. y is directly proportional to x. So, the word is directly proportional to x. And y is proportional to x. So, proportional to x. Kapag nakita ninyo yung tatlong Phrases na yan varies directly, directly proportional to, and proportional to. This represents direct variation. And having this, our variable is y and x. So this can be translated mathematically as y is equal to kx. Example, tell whether if the following expresses direct variation. So, example number one, so we have here a graph. So, a graph wherein there are three points. So, point one, so point one is at one, one. So, our point two, point one, point two is at three, three. And our point two, 3 is at 5, 5. So, we are going to uh, evaluate if these points represent or if this graph represents direct variation. So, the first number is our x for the coordinate x and y, x and y, x and y. So, we can say that x varies directly as y. So, for the first one, so let's have 1, 1. So, 1 is equal to k times 1. So, 1 is equal to k. So, for the first point. Then, for the second point, let's have 3, 3. So, we have x directly as y. So, we have 3 is equal to k times 3. So, divide both sides by 3. So, your k is equal to 1. Then, for point number 3, so 5, 5. So, we have x varies directly as y. So, we have 5 is equal to k times 5. Divide both sides by 5. So, your k is equal to 1. Now, as you can see, ang value ng ating constant ay pare-pareho which is 1. So, therefore, this describes a direct variation. Kung sa isang point nakita ninyo na ang k ay kakaiba, so, ibig sabihin, hindi siya direct variation. Dapat, Sa bawat point, makita natin na ang value ng ating k ay pare-pareho for us to say that the variation is direct variation. Sample number 2. Tell whether the following expresses variation. Sa so number 2 naman ay table of values. 
So our first x and y is 2 and 6. So let's say x varies directly as y. So we have 2 is equal to k times ang y ay 6. So divide both sides by 6. So our k is equal to 1 third. So, our k is equal to 1 third. Next point. So, let's have 3, 7. So, x varies directly as y. So, our x is 3 equals k times our y is 7. So, divide both sides by 7. So, cancel. So, k is equal to 3 over 7. Now, as we compare the value of our k, for the first one, k is 1 third, and the second one, k is equal to 3 over 7. Therefore, magkaiba siya. So, therefore, the table of values does not illustrate or does not illustrate direct variation. Basta pag nakuha nyo na magkakaiba ang value ng k, ibig sabihin, hindi siya direct variation. Direction. Write an equation to express each of the following relation. Use the letter k as the constant of variation. Number 1. The perimeter p of a regular pentagon varies directly as the length of its side S. So first, let us identify what kind of variation is this. So let us take a look at the phrase that will tell us the variation. So it says here, varies directly. So the phrase is varies directly, meaning our variation is direct variation. Now let us identify the variable. So, our variable is P and another, so perimeter P and side S. So, from our formula, we can say that the equation will be perimeter, capital letter P, varies directly as the side S. So, in equation, that is equal to P is equal to KS. Number 2. The circumference C of a circle varies directly as the diameter of D. So, again, let's take a look at the phrase. So, the phrase is varies directly. So, varies directly is a direct variation and our variables are C. And capital letter C and small letter D. So therefore, the equation that illustrates or express this relation is capital letter C is equal to KD. Number 3. The total cost C of banana is directly proportional to the price P per kilo. So... Kanina, sa number 1 at sa number 2, ang phrase na nagsasabing siya ay direct variation is varies directly. Pero ngayon, sa number 3, ang phrase na nagsasabi na siya ay direct variation ay directly proportional to. And our variable is the cost, C, capital letter C, and the price, P, small letter P, of the banana. So, the equation that illustrates this relation will be capital letter C is equal to the constant K then the price P. So, therefore, C is equal to KP. Illustrative examples. So, number one. If X varies directly as Y and X equals 9 when Y equals 6, Find x when y equals 15. 
So the first thing that we're going to do is to find the equation that illustrates this variation. So kuhanin natin yung first statement. The first phrase, if x varies directly as y, so our statement here will give us x is equal to ky because it varies directly. Then, another phrase, so yun ang sa phrase 1, nakukuha natin kung ano yung equation. Sa phrase 2, the second phrase, nakalagay dyan, and x equals 9 when y equals 6. So, sa second equation, kukuha ni naman natin ang value ng k. So, sa first phrase, nakuha natin ang equation. Sa second phrase, kukuha ni natin ang value ng k. So, papaano kinukuha ang value ng k? So, from our first equation, x equals ky, we are going to substitute the value of x. Ang value ng x natin ay 9. So, we have 9 is equal to k multiply this by 6. So, we have 9 is equal to 6k. Then, divide both sides by 6. So, cancel our 6. So, 3 halves is the value of our k. So, k is equal to 3 halves. Then, Sa ating last statement, or phrase, sa last phrase, we are going to find x when y is equal to 15. So, find x when y is equal to 15. So, from our equation, x is equal to ky. So, our k is 3 halves. So, we have x is equal to 3 halves times what will be our y? 15. So, we will have x is equal to 3 times 15, that is 45, over 2. So, our x is 45 over 2. Example number 2. If P varies directly as the square of Q and P is equal 20 when Q equals 5, find P when Q is 8. So again, the first thing that we are going to do is to express this, equa this into mathematical equation. So the first phrase, P varies directly so uh, as the square of q so our equation will be okay so p small letter p varies directly as the square of q so our equation will be p is equal to k q squared then for us to find the value of our k okay so, we will have P is equal to K Q squared. Then, let us substitute our value. Our P is 20. So, 20 is equal to K. Then, Q is 5. So, we have 5 squared. Then, simplifying this, so we will have 20 is equal to K times 25 then we will have 20 is equal to 25k then divide both sides by 25 cancel our k is 4 over 5 as we simplify so divide this by 5 divide this by 5 so our k is 4 over 5. Now, let's find P. 
So our P says here, find P when Q is 8. So again, our equation is P is equal to K Q squared. So our P, we're looking for the P, and our constant is 4 over 5. Then our Q is 8 squared. So we'll have P is equal to 4 over 5, 8 times 8, that is 64. Then multiplying this, so we will have P is equal to 4, 64 times 4, so 4 times 4 is 16. Carry 1, so 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 is 25. So 256 over 5 is the value of our P. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel, Sir Axilang.